Today's video is going to be a little bit of a short video. In the beginning of 2020, the video game documentary YouTube channel Noclip released an almost one and a half hour long documentary about the French video game development studio Arcane Studios. This studio so happened to have worked on a Half-Life 2 related project internally called Ravenholm. And hey, two years later, about a week ago, they released another video on this Half-Life 2 episode where they show off a whole bunch of gameplay for this cancelled experience. So let's have a look at it. Lambda Federation. Alright, so this video starts off with Noclip's host and editor Denny O'Dwyer explaining a thing or two about the gameplay footage we're about to see. Like how they obtained the footage, for example. And apparently they recorded all of it while they were in Lyon, France to visit Arcane for the documentary. Which is pretty cool. They got to see the game running in action with their own eyes and even play it. The video then starts to show off the first part of the first chapter that commences after you first start the game. You wake up from your bed in some kind of science-y kitchen when all of a sudden Father Grigori comes running into the room. A choreographed sequence then happens when you get to meet him where he puts some kind of serum into his body that helps him immunize against the threat of the headcrabs. It's a pretty interesting setup for sure. The place then gets attacked by zombies and you need to get out of here. Luckily there is a convenient hole placed in the floor that you can escape through. You then gain access to some kind of sewer in which you then have to try to make your way back to the surface in the other half of this gameplay sequence. Danny does interject between these gameplay sections though to tell us that the first section of this chapter, the choreographed scene, was actually recorded by a game developer from Arcane who redid the sound for it, as it originally didn't have sound when Danny recorded it in person at the studio. Chapter 2 takes place in a hospital kind of environment with a newish looking part of the building and an old looking part of the building further down the line. They mixed up the styles here to make sure that the player won't have to walk through the same corridors the entire time. To be honest, the hospital bit in Half-Life 2 Episode 1 kind of felt like that. Most corridors looked kind of similar. I think Arcane definitely did a better job on the art direction here, but I'll get back to that later. I haven't even talked about the gameplay for this section yet which revolves a lot around fiddling around with these electricity-based puzzles. Later on, you even obtain a nail gun that you can use to not just attack these zombie-like creatures, but you can also direct the electricity with it to solve these puzzles or even lay traps for the zombies. The later levels of the game introduce even more methods of solving these puzzles and getting rid of these head zombies. Chimps are also later introduced as an enemy for you to fight. Apparently they have been tested on by Father Grigori so he can find the perfect formula for himself. And now the chimps have become super intelligent and they want to kill you. They can apparently flank you from behind and disappear inside of air ducts so you'll never really know where they come from and they can really catch you off guard. They're a great addition to the horror element of this game. Later levels in this gameplay video become more and more unfinished and blockier because Arcane obviously didn't end up having the time to properly finish this episode off before Valve unceremoniously pulled the plug on this project. So everything you've seen up until now could also have been placeholder, just remember that. It might look rough in some areas, but it just wasn't finished yet. I think this is a really big shame because looking at the gameplay that Noclip provided here, it really does seem like this episode would have been pretty fun to play through, even though it might not feel as Half-Life 2-y as the other episodes. But hey, different developer, different style, right? And honestly, coming back to the art direction of the game, I think it's one of my favorite parts of this. Arcane has always been pretty darn good when it comes to art directing in its games, so seeing some of their style being done here in the Source engine just puts a smile on my face. It's almost like they knew a lot more about what they were doing when it comes to lighting and texturing a place than Valve. Not that Valve's own stuff looks bad or anything, but I think I just like Arcane's lighting especially a lot better. Anyway, what do you guys think? Would this have been a worthy Half-Life 2 episode? Would it have been something you'd actually like to play if it was ever released? Or do you think this game is better left on the cutting room floor? Let us know in the comments, I promise I'll read them. Also, if you want to see more of the gameplay, please go and check out Noclip's video on it. It's of course linked in the description below, and while you're at it, why not support them as well? In the description of the video we linked, you can find several ways on how you can support them, like through Patreon or their merch store. Buy a shirt! 
Honestly, I'm hoping that Valve or Arcane ever get to finish this project up properly. It's a real big shame we never got to see any of this come to fruition and I'd love to play this someday. Or hey, maybe they can release a build of it. It'd be unfinished, but then at least we can experience it on our own. Because even in its unfinished state, it seems like a hell of a lot of fun to play. Or maybe we should wait for a community project to come along to turn this into a full game we can play. Who knows what'll happen, right?